one owner car guy one owner car guy.com this will be your exterior review of this beautiful 97 Oldsmobile Aurora with the North Star um, it's a great car just powerful as can be and this one's been very well cared for it's only got 68,000 miles um, runs great two owners and I do a lot of one two and sometimes three owner cars make sure and subscribe like comment share my video sharing my video really helps out and I really appreciate it um, other than that I'm gonna do this once around then I'll show you underneath and we'll kind of go on with our review and show you the exterior and undercarriage of the car I'm splitting these into three like I've told you on my channel a few times to where exterior and undercarriage interior and such and then a test drive to where I can kind of make sure and show everything so underneath just as clean as can be no huge huge puddles or nothing I'm sure you'll find a wet gasket or something to that effect if you really get to going at it but it's in great shape runs and drives great it's a very clean car 68,000 miles two owners cared for it in 15 years now that's not a fail safe for hey you're never ever gonna have a problem with this car you know you replace something pump hose belt who knows could go in a week could go tomorrow could go in a year could never go whatever that is but definitely with a lower owner lower mile car you're gonna get a lot more service out of it um, and start with a cleaner deal so now that we did that I'm gonna kind of go around it and show you the exterior of the car and kind of to tell you the car has a slightly faded paint to it and I don't know if it was repainted at some point I'm thinking it likely was because I can see a little bit of stuff they didn't tape right there I don't know if you can see that yeah on the headlight um, so I don't know if they just upgraded the bumpers or what but it's just slightly faded and you can see spots in it I'm gonna try and really man it's hard to see clouds are all in it the tires are very nice uh, Goodyear integrity look at that right on them wheels are beautiful and I'll just go down the sides kind of show you see there's spots all in here and a nice another coat of wax could really shine it up a bit but it's just kind of faded in here I think and likely we'll need a, a repaint to put it back to that bling type luster a uh, little crack here in that a couple little chip type things in the bumper lenses look good I do like the back ends of these um, straight I'm sure there's a ding or two somewhere a little hard to see any of them though it's pretty darn straight sitting here wondering if it's plastic it's pretty dang straight I don't know if you can see them spots in it just little spots like bloop 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 <laughs> and just slightly faded in there but see if you that's rubbed out a little bit right there I hope you can see man it's just a little hard to see you can see that shinier right there looks good ding hey I found one I'm sure there's something else in there that I missed somewhere a little scratch here in here chips in good shape though a little corrosion where you got a chip or something or and a little spot there that's the worst fade spot on it kind of a chip there and there a little chip along the fender there and on the fender there um, a little chip there so people make fun because I'll say this car is straight as can be and there's a ding here and a ding here well just because it's straight don't mean there ain't something like that right there every once in a while um, so I mean great running car low mile car well maintained a little bit of fade on the paint and that's about it yep see right there a little bit of overspray on that improper tape job so that's that 
missing the centerpiece here, but not leaking all over or nothing. I've done the interior, and um, it's kind of your once around on it. Oh, a little gouge here. Scuff of Maru. A scuff of Maru. That's right. That's right. And a couple of little dings and stretch, scratch type things there. It's a California car, I'm a Montana dealer, and I take stuff like this back to Montana because we never really got many cars like this new. And I also ship them overseas. I'll ship this anywhere in the world for you. Name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919, and I think I'm just gonna do the test drive right here on this one and kind of show you anything I think I forgot on the insides, um, which I don't, it looks kind of like an eclipse every once in a while. I don't think I forgot anything inside. But we shall look. Heated seats. I remember showing all this. I mean, it's a great working car. Ding, ding, ding here. See a little bit of. I didn't show that. That right there. Yeah, a little bit of fate going on right there. The center of that. Grab a picture of that 68. Dash is not all cracked up, however, a few stress marks like right there. Beautiful. Radio and all that works. If I was to throw a brake in the middle of it, I guess right now it'd be as good a spot as any. I've got an auto check for it, and I've kept thinking here, well, should I show it with that? And should I do this? And should I, I want to get it, and I'm going to do this the right way for you. So what I'll do is, well, number one, I'll show you my dog. See her waiting there for me in the chair. She's like, come on, let's go, let's go. She's on your back. Okay, and I'm going to get out, turn this bad boy off, and... <clears throat> Grab you the auto check. Actually, I'll leave it sit right here for a minute. And you can listen to it run. Beaglespocket.com. Beaglespocket.com. One owner carguy.com. And yes, that was tacky, leaving you sit on the car for a second. Here's your auto check. Eleven to twenty-nine. It scored a thirty-two. And all the mileage checks out. So that's good. Two owner. And we're gonna get on the road. Auto locking, lockings. Auto locking, lockings. Volvo coming up there, a oh, Skyhawk coming up. That Mercedes is on my side. Actually, I've been driving this a little bit as well, because I like this. Now, I replaced the AC compressor and had it recharged. It was blowing cold, and then now none of my blower motor wants to blow. Let me get out of the road for this guy. It's up to speed, like just BAM, up to speed. But this is a very nice car, it runs very good. And it's very comfortable, tight. It's a little bit too much to get on here. You need highway. I did a review of this one on the highway. If you wanna see that, it's on my YouTube channel. Stops nice. Want to put on the brakes a little hard? It's not a problem. That's just 40 right there. Bam. Are we talking like three seconds or something? 
Um, very, very nice driver. I'm gonna go ahead down here and do a little bit of a longer test drive because it just drives so nice. Beautiful day in San Diego. And if you're ever in the area and you're a subscriber, call me up, I'll buy you coffee. Wow, they really got people going on the park. Bing, bing, oh, somebody ain't got their seatbelt on. Now, why, you know? All right. Well, it's pretty much your test drive. Nice and expensive car, pretty economical, and still have all that power. You know, I don't care how economical you get, you need some power, right? This has it, to say the least. power bands right there on 4045 so it's really hard to get it in this area because it's right where it wants to shift so you're gonna be going 52 and like a second half quarter second or you're right under 40 but and it is just nice as can be I think I've said that a few times I'm sure Well, oneownercarguy.com. Make sure and check out my channel. I've got lots of unique and interesting rides on here. I do lots of Cadillac and Oldsmobile. I do like them. And I do a lot of Mercedes. I have a certified soft spot for Mercedes. And, you know, it just runs into a time sometimes where you don't have a whole lot to say in one of these videos. And this is one of those times. Beaglespocket.com, I have the cutest miniature beagles you'd ever want to see. Stockgambles.com, I gamble a bit on penny stocks, I guess you would say. I like a good stock that I has a product and is cheap. Fallen from grace, I like that. I like this guy's Trans Am, although I don't like getting in and out of it. It is a WS6, wow, cool. Oh, he's got a puppy. My puppy's not allowed to run around in that seat by herself. She gets a little uh, inquisitive. Yeah, inquisitive. There's one for you. One owner car guy, one owner car guy. Dot com 406544-6919. I will export this car anywhere in the world. Um, check the eBay ad. I might have that blown away by the time you see the eBay ad. All kinds of cars on my site. Really, all kinds of them. In this video, where we are. Wow, it has to be closed. Wow. Very interesting. Now that I've messed with that, we'll take this with us. It has a chip in it, by the way. And this is my ride right now, so I'll be heading out. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, call anytime. Import, export, I'll ship this car right to your port. You just give me a call. 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com